Lance Lenaris, Executive Director of the Community Foundation of Santa Cruz County. I'm also the Chair of the League of California Community Foundations, a consortium of 29 California Community Foundations who have all achieved national standards in our work. Today and uh, yesterday, we are spending time in our office here convening, getting together with our board chairs for a two-day retreat to talk about a lot of the issues that are common to us serving the residents of California. It's a time for us to brainstorm, work together, renew old friendships, and start thinking about ways that philanthropy can help move the needle to make our state a better place to live. You'll be hearing from some of our colleagues in the next minute or two. Um, thanks for coming. Hi, I'm Jeff Pickering. I'm President and CEO of Kern Community Foundation. We are based in Bakersfield, California, and I'm proud to be part of the League of California Community Foundations meeting today. And one of the interesting things that I'm curious to know more about is how individual community foundations around the state are growing their community of donors, and in particular, taking advantage of the intergenerational wealth transfer opportunities that are coming. We recently conducted a study about that in Kern County and we see that there's an eighty billion dollar wealth transfer opportunity that potentially four billion dollars could benefit charity locally. We'd like to learn more about what other communities are doing to capture that wealth transfer and hopefully grow their community of donors like we're trying to do. I'm Nicole Taylor. I'm the head of the East Bay Community Foundation and we serve Alameda and Contra Costa counties and one of the key things that we've been following, tracking, and investing in is economic opportunity for people in our communities. Prior to the recession, um, many of our communities were seriously uh, facing high unemployment rates and underemployment rates. And then once the recession hit, uh, more and more people in our communities were affected. And so we've been working on very creative solutions um, in our communities, including investing in real job training programs that connect to employers so that people who are jobless can actually get the skills they need for the jobs that are coming online. Um, we're also working um, to invest in entrepreneurs and small to mid-sized businesses who are creating local jobs. Um, because where we live, that's where the job growth is happening. And so for us, it's all about a livable wage so people can take care of themselves and their families. And I think we're, you know, we're making a difference. There's a lot more work to be done and uh, we do it every day and it's a collaborative effort. We cannot do this alone, so we work with the public sector a lot. We work with uh, nonprofits, uh, service providers, as well as the companies and the business owners themselves. Um, it's fantastic work. Hi, I'm Bob Kelly. I'm the President and CEO of the San Diego Foundation. We're involved in what we call the Our Greater San Diego Vision. It's creating a grand vision for the future of San Diego. Every community should do it. Mm -hmm.